One of the most impressive and intriguing iOS 8 and Yosemite features Apple announced at WWDC earlier this year was continuity, a way for iOS and macOS to work more closely together. What is it exactly, and how does it work? I'm Taylor Martin with PocketNow, and this is Continuity on iOS 8 and Yosemite. The obvious way to make iOS and macOS work together is to utilize the one thing your phone or iPad has that the Mac doesn't, a cellular connection. When your iPhone, iPad, or Mac are all nearby, you can share the internet connection between them. From your Mac, open the Wi-Fi settings drop-down in the toolbar. Your iPhone should appear as an option in the Personal Hotspot section. Clicking it will automatically activate the hotspot feature on the phone, and the same can be done from the iPad. Choose your iPhone as a hotspot from the Wi-Fi settings on the iPad, and it will activate the hotspot, all without you ever having to reach for your iPhone. You can also answer and place calls using the iPhone through the Mac or iPad. If you have an incoming call on your phone, the call also appears on the other devices so long as they're on the same Wi-Fi network and signed into FaceTime using your account. To place a call using either the Mac or the iPad, simply open the Contacts app and tap the Call button beside a saved number. It doesn't get any more simple than that. It literally just works. The same goes for SMS. After I upgraded to iOS 8 and Yosemite, upon opening messages, I was asked if I wanted to activate SMS on the iPad Mini and my MacBook. Now, when I'm on the same wireless network, SMS and iMessages are all synced across all connected devices. The other major part of continuity is handoff. In short, this is how, as Apple said, you can start a task on one device and pick up where you left off on another. Start an email on the iPhone and finish it from the iPad. Or when going mobile, continue a conversation from the Mac on the iPad or iPhone. All you have to do is look for the icon in the lower left corner of the lock screen and swipe upwards when it appears. From the Mac, a handoff icon will appear at the top or left of your dock. If you load a link in Safari from the Mac, the Safari icon will appear in the lower left corner of the lock screen on your iOS devices. Swiping it will load the active page on these devices. The same goes for documents, messages, mail, calendar, and a host of other first and third party apps. Unfortunately, handoff is not nearly as impressive as Apple made it sound on stage. If you begin a message in the stock mail app, yes, you can literally pick up where you left off from the iPhone or iPad using the most recent draft. This, however, doesn't work when typing a message in messages. Partial SMS or iMessages are not synced. Sometimes the content you're working on is synced though, like when editing documents or spreadsheets. But more often than not, all Handoff does is provide a quick shortcut to where you were in any given app. It will open the conversation you were in last when typing a message in Messages, the page you have open in Safari on another device, or a specific name in Contacts. It's helpful, but not as impressive as we first imagined. However, one of the most exciting features added in the recent updates was cross-platform airdrop support. You can now drag and drop files between your Mac and iOS devices, or quickly shoot documents, photos, or links over to your Mac from your iPhone or iPad. The problem is, it only works when it wants to. It's been pretty unreliable since the upgrade to Yosemite. Devices seem to have trouble recognizing one another, and no amount of rebooting or tweaking settings seem to help. We're hoping this is just one of those bugs that gets squashed pretty quickly. If it does, AirDrop will definitely be one of the most useful features to come of this year's updates. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and find us around the web on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.